Let's see what my fortune is with this fortune cookie. Cause you know how proper these are. And the fortune is, this video is going to suck. Ah, shit. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? A couple's house has been wrongfully raided by the police for the 41st time. The actual house that was supposed to be raided 41 times is their neighbor's house. And for some reason, these police just can't get it right. You'd think the police would realize after a while they must be the shittiest police force in the world. How do you fucking raid the same house 40 times? How do you wrongfully raid the same house 10 times? If I was this couple, after like the 20th time, I would have put a fucking sign on the door. Please raid other house. I'm tired of replacing my fucking door. I wonder what the conversations are like when the cops bust in this couple's door and they're like, fuck, not again. It's probably just like, get down on the ground, get down on the ground. Oh, are you kidding me? You guys have the wrong fucking house again. Oh my God, what is that, the 40th time now? This is getting ridiculous. Oh, okay, I'll just let you guys be. I'll see you later. When are these cops gonna realize it's not my house, it's my name? Get down on the ground, get down on the ground. Oh shit, this is the same house again, isn't it? <laughs> I'm such a shitty cop. I think this couple should just invest in some sort of attack animal. If they got a big ass attack animal, like a lion. If this couple had a guard lion, then when these police wrongfully raid their house, the police are gonna have to answer to the motherfucking king of the jungle. If there's anything the movie Grandma's Boy has taught me, it's nobody fucks with a lion. In other news, a man went into a bank to open up an account. So the teller was like, sure, give me two pieces of ID. So he gave her two pieces of ID, and then he was starting to fill out the application, and all of a sudden he had a change of mind. He decided he didn't want to open an account, he wanted to rob the fucking bank. First of all, let me guess what happened. He went to open an account and then realized, wait, I don't have any money. All right, I'll just rob this bitch, get some money, go to another bank, and then I'll open an account. But no, it didn't happen like that because you see, the big hole in your plan was the fact that you gave her your ID before you robbed her. That's so fucking dumb. It's like if I went up to someone and I was like, okay, so here's my resume, you have that, I want you to keep that and look it over. Now I'm gonna fucking rob your ass. You'll never catch me. <laughs> Maybe this man that robbed the place was just cracking a joke and this teller took it the wrong way. You know, it was just like, will you be putting any money in your account today? Uh, no, I don't really have any money on me. I guess I'm just gonna have to rob the place. Okay, take all the money in my till. Just take it all. I don't want any trouble. <laughs> oh no, you got me all wrong. I was just, I was cracking a joke. It was just a joke. Please don't shoot me. I have a family. Lady, I don't even have a gun. If you must, then have your way with me. Okay, this is getting weird. I'm gonna leave. Actually, you know, I will have my way with you. Actually, my fortune was great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance. I don't even know what three of those words are. So I want to know, what would you have guard your house? Or what would you do to your house to protect it? It doesn't have to just be like an attack animal, you can be creative. I'd use a person. I'd just have Andy Dick as my doorman and he'd scare everyone away with his bad acting. So what would you do to your house or who would you have guard your house to keep it really nice and safe? Leave a comment or a video response and let me know. And thumbs up and favorite and do all that good stuff to this video because it's just good karma. Those who are nice get things that are nice. So the other day I was just driving down some side streets doing what I'm always doing when I'm driving down side streets just looking for hookers to murder but then all of a sudden this bunny just darts in front of me and just sits in front of my car and I didn't want to kill the bunny because I'm not a cruel bastard like some of you guys might be. I know some of you your first thought was like run it over yeah run that bitch over but no you're you're fucked in the head dude. This bunny must have had a death wish or something it was just sitting in front of my car and it was all like I want to die. Well it didn't say anything because bunnies don't talk at least not when I'm so.